Hey everyone, welcome back to Some Warrior News. I'm your trainer and dietitian, Tim McComsey from Dallas, Texas. Today's exercise is gonna involve a band and a dumbbell. Uh, the combination of both is gonna offer uh, more, more resistance, uh, more strength, more calories burned, and overall better workout and recruitment of your muscles uh, in that particular area. So we're gonna do a side lateral raise, working the side part of your shoulders. So we're gonna need tie the band down to a sturdy object down low. Make sure it's nice and tight and then you're gonna grab a dumbbell that you can use uh, pretty easily. A um, little bit lighter than what you would normally would use since the bands would offer more resistance. So once you're in that position, grab a dumbbell in the left hand, band in the left hand. So it's gonna be a double grip on the band. Your shoulders back, chest high. You stand about two to three feet away from the sturdy object where the band's gonna be. And all you're gonna do is raise the dumbbell up to your shoulder height, lateral raise, squeezing your shoulder. So exhale up, inhale down. This is probably one of my favorite shoulder exercises because it's gonna just burn the shoulder, the sh shoulder capsules, lateral part of your shoulders. It's basically gonna hit all parts of your shoulders, but at the same time, when the dumbbell is easy at the top, the band's gonna make it harder. So you have resistance all the way through. Great exercise. You can do this for as many reps as your program calls for. So usually about 10 to 15 reps, just straight up, straight down. So remember, don't use your body, use the muscle that you're supposed to be using for the exercise, in this case, your shoulder. Once you're done, turn around, switch, other side. So there you go. If you need to build up to the exercise, you can just use the band right in general to start up and down. Now, if you like this exercise, please subscribe to our newsletter at Some Warrior News for more healthy tips, exercises, and recipes.